Hey, welcome back to Every Money. We're glad you joined us again. Paul, we bring a different approach to investing out there. Uh, we get a lot of comments like, this is the only channel saying not to buy a lot of things. Uh, but one way we do this is we try to employ you as a new investor. Uh, <laughs> show people you're eating Jesus. I'm eating Jesus. <laughs> I'll stop. As a new investor, is, <laughs> we have to take emotions out of this. We, we do a lot of videos where we show you all the hype channels making money off your backs, getting clicks with clickbait articles about how Tattooed Chef, Plug Powered, Charge Point, Neo, Nico, all the BS stocks are the best things ever. They're all 10x baggers. Um, we, we, you need to strip your mind away from all this emotion. We love looking at numbers because numbers tell us a story, Paul, about the past and potential future of companies. And moreover, is people are loving these blind stock reactions. We hide all the data from you, Paul. You step out of the room, we bring you in, like the starlet that you are, and have you look at the numbers behind companies. What is the stock price? What do they make? And should I be buying or avoiding this company? And again, folks, if you're watching our channel, almost all are avoids. We own about very, very few, 20 or 30 stocks out of 10,000. No, so, I don't think I even own 20 stocks. I think I own like 10. You're much less, right? I think I'm like, oh, yeah, you're right. You have 30. Yeah. I have like 10. Warren Buffett says get six great ones. And so I'd love to see if this is one. It's been in the news of late, but you have never looked at this. So um, I pulled up the 10-year, Paul, which is behind you because the one year just looked kind of normal. But look at this rise and fall Holy of a company. What I'd like you to do first, though, is follow us on Instagram because my goal in life is to get a blue check mark. If I don't do it, then I'm going to probably... Yo don't do, don't yo, do it. Yo, <laughs> yo Tambien. Oh, wow. Look at this. What is this? $100 and pretty close to it. $90 back in 2014. And now it's at, what's this price right it's now? Like Can you tell me? 10 bucks. It's $10. Uh, yeah, $9.88. And, and guess what? All you hype people out there would have said, it's not going to go to 10. You're missing out. So I, I had a, I had a dinner yesterday with a uh, friend of mine, an uh, older gentleman, 65 years old. Love him. He's so great. And he said to me, he goes, you know, I think stocks will pull back, but... I mean, worst case, 25%. And I was like, okay. Uh-huh. You don't was, even get in that conversation? No, but I just mean in the sense of like, when you're seeing this, it's hard to imagine dropping 90%. And now I guarantee you, we could pull up articles at, from that time that this was a revolutionary. Are you trying to hint at what the company is? No, I'm just saying okay. you will find articles saying how disruptive this is, how revolutionary, how this has never been done before, and it's gonna absolutely take over. And sure enough, uh, the stock price has not reflected that. So show us some of the data, Paul, that you normally look at. Okay, so market cap, 1.5 billion. Revenue, not a ton. I mean, not, not low amount, that's good. So it's only 1.5 times revenue, that's pretty solid. Net income, I guess they don't wanna make money. Negative uh, 13 million bucks, so no PE. Negative pro gross margin of 36%. Okay. Can you describe to me a company that's been around for six, seven years that still has zero net income or negative net income? Well, so what that's what I'm that looking mean? at. Is this a temporary thing or is it permanent? Now I look at the five-year free cash flow, the average five-year free cash flow with last year being 130 million, it's still negative. So that kind of confuses me. Negative five-year invested cap. Yeah, so they just lose money every year. This is telling me they just basically lose money every year. So they open up shop, they sell things, and they just lose money in the process? So this is a store? Or is it? <laughs> okay. I don't know, but they basically it tells me they were losing money for a while. I mean, and the reason being is last year's free cash flow was a big jump and they still had a negative for the five years. So I'm looking at going, okay, they probably lose money pretty consistently or they had some big years. Why don't we look at uh, the financials here with income, Paul, revenue. Ooh, looking good. Poop, 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 poop. Okay, so it's just dropping every single year. Sick, sick prank, kids. Net income. Profit, 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 loss, 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 loss. Okay, so what did I say? Hey, they're losing less money every year. Good for them. <laughs> so like the losses are decreasing. In 2017, they lost 425 million. They're down to only $13 million loss. So I, I, and I'm sure they're, either their debt is skyrocketed to pay for those losses or they've issued a lot of shares to pay for those losses. Uh, let's take a look. This is still the income. Do you need this? Uh, yes, yeah. you do. Hold on. Let me uh, they haven't issued a ton of shares. Only 10 million more shares. Only like a... What is that? One in 14, only 6% increase in shares? 7%? basic shares outstanding. So they had 112 in 2013. They have 152. That's still a lot. 152 Oh, it's million. a big jump still. Yeah, huge jump. So right? they're diluting people a little bit. Okay. Oh, boy. Your thoughts so far? I, would, I, I wouldn't even go further than this one if I was looking at stocks. Okay. Let's just show people what you would look at if, if they're at, at home following along. So current assets, 506 million. Current liabilities. Uh, current liability is 211, so that's good. Okay. 
And we know the free cash flow is... Total liability. So they have enough money to pay off all their debts. That's cool. Okay. Uh, the free cash flow is going to be sad, I assume, right? Negative, now. negative. Sorry, go, what the, go ahead. Let's, let's pull it up a little bit. Oh, that's all I got. That's, that's, that, that's all I can do here. No, let's just... Oh, you can't go higher? Uh, I thought max were amazing. Negative 250, negative 21, negative 15, negative 36, negative... Uh, oh, 131. So they made some money last year? Or, uh, yeah, it looks like they did. Change in working capital was a big difference. Um, okay. Yeah, I would just, I like, to me, I'm just looking and going like, oh, let's just go through the motions. I'm not going to buy the stock. They could have a great story going forward, but I shouldn't say I wouldn't buy it. But unless I knew the company ahead of time and said, this is why I'm looking at it because they all of a sudden did this, that's going to change the game. But then I would imagine their stock would probably skyrocket from $10 to something stupid. Yeah, here's eight pillars uh, from our software, Paul. It's uh -huh. bad. Uh huh. Mo, are people trading this stock? Because there's been a lot of buzz around it. Has there? You have gotten questions about this stock I have? in the past couple weeks. Okay. I don't even have a clue what this is. I, I, I'm, I've, been, I've actually been typing in ticker symbols just to like see if I can get on it. So you're sitting right at the 200 day moving average right now, but you're hovered right between four moving averages. So to me, I don't know what the volume is here, but. I would swing trade this stock and wait for it to get get going, but you're going to have to break through those moving averages. And even then, let me zoom out a little bit more. Um, you can probably make a run to thirteen dollars if you get through those moving averages, but this is this is a tough one. I just don't know. I have a couple guesses. Go Do ahead, you? Paul. Is it? I had two. Mullen guesses. Group. No. Mullen. Is it Olane Farm? I don't know what that is, but no. Okay, Paul, we're going to continue this, actually. We're going to go to our stock analyzer tool. This is for request lines from the patrons. They want to see us keep going and keep it a secret as long as we can, Paul. So this is our oh. stock analyzer tool. You'll get it as being a part of our patron. And when we move off patron, of Patreon, um, you can, you can uh, be one of our software subscribers. And we will show you how to find the price you should be paying for this company. It's currently $10, Paul. Sounds like a deal. Uh, what numbers would you be putting in here? Um, negative five, okay. negative three. Is this revenue growth? Zero. Zero, okay. That's, okay, go ahead. Share change, oh boy. Um, two, mm -hmm. sorry, two point, call it three. First one's three. Okay. We have to start at a higher number three. here. 2.5, mm -hmm. two. Okay. Profit margin. Um, they've never had. <laughs> I mean, they have to make some profit. Call it right? eight, nine, and 10. Okay, very, very, yeah. Uh, Being very aggressive. Very, yeah, okay, good. Uh, free cash flow um, is a percentage of revenue. I would do eight, nine, and 10. Nine and 10, okay. PE, I mean, 20? 12, 14, 16. 16, okay. 12, 14, 16. Mm -hmm. Nope, sorry, it's lo lo losing um, revenue. I would go eight, 10, 12. Okay. Because revenue is going down. So you, just, yeah. That's okay. I, I like how you're saying this out loud because a lot of our patrons say, how do we use this tool? So eight, Yeah, because like I look at revenue. If revenue is falling, then I have to pay a very low amount. 8, 10, and 12. Okay. And, and then desire 15, mm -hmm. 12 and a half, 10. Mm -hmm. The period. There you go. 10. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. The current price of this stock is $10 when we run stock analyzer tool. Oh, boy. Sick. So the stock analyzer tool is telling us that in our mid assumptions, this is a three and a half dollar stock. Even on the rosiest, rosiest of days, we should be paying, we should be paying six and a half, six dollars and twenty eight cents if we want a fifteen percent, a ten percent return over the next seven years. Yeah, and um, so it's, it's like I said, I'm avoiding it. I'm just like, plus I look at it going, ugh, this is too much to guess about. The company could lose a 30% there. I don't know anything about it. Now, granted, if we, might, if we hear the company, all of a sudden I know it, and I go, oh, well, wait a second. There's more to the story. That makes sense. And that's where the story matters. But in the meantime, I'm not. Final guesses, oh, Paul, yeah. Paul and Mo. On what it is? Oh, yeah. I have no clue. My, two, my two guesses were BlackBerry and CCIV. Oh, BlackBerry. Yeah. Um, and the only reason I said BlackBerry is because Hype in 2014, big fall. No, it's not BlackBerry. I, I was told it wasn't. You are a new owner of this, Paul. You just bought one recently for the show. This is GoPro. Oh, oh wow. A revolutionary television. I thought you were saying I bought the stock. I'm like, I, I bought too. the stock. I was like, what the oh, heck? We just bought a GoPro for the show to go like off, 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 take our camera. I remember when GoPro came public, it was the Forget hype. about it. Yeah. I mean, like they made a camera that wasn't this big. It was this big and it still is somewhat revolutionary. But then cell phones now took over. You have a wonderful camera on your phone. 
all of a sudden the GoPros is like for the 10 skaters out there that strap these to their chest and heads. And no, there's definitely a lot of skaters. But are you surprised by this, Paul? I'm surprised it, by the numbers. I didn't think that they it was lost bad. That it was, much I didn't know it was this bad. I didn't think so. And but remember, the, the founder of GoPro was on Shark Tank and now he's nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Why? Because hype happened. It's like all of a sudden. And by the way, it's funny because I remember somebody in the group chat saying something about me about GoPro back in the day. And I said, well, I don't know. I wouldn't touch it at 90 or like, and I remember coming up with some number of like $20, $25 a share back then because the numbers are like, okay, maybe they rebound. Yeah. That just goes to show guys, if I bought it here, if I, I sat here saying it was worth like $20, $25 a share, it's, it's gotten worse and worse and worse in value. Now GoPro, and it's, and it's I think they're better. doing more membership stuff now, aren't they? They're trying to get subscribers. No clue. They're trying to do something where it's like you can store videos on their server and things that like is, that. So that I think they're trying true, to change. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a better growth story there to GoPro, but it's still the whole issue of... Now, I will say this. So the issue that I see with GoPro going forward is that's a big clunky device. And with Amazon... I don't think it's big and clunky. Well, when you think about Amazon and Apple that are coming out with glasses, it's way better. So to me... If I'm a skater or if I'm a snowboarder, I'd rather have a GoPro on top of my head or on here than glasses on or, or, or like skiing goggles with them on. Now that's the know? issue. Well, maybe GoPro becomes that company maybe, that does maybe. the skiing yeah. goggles. I don't yeah. know. Paul, you know the patrons are going to want to see when you're shushing down the Matterhorn next next February. We'll strap a GoPro to Guys, you. Guys, I love skiing, but I do the green. I, I ski. I ski the way I invest. I do the green, easy mountains <laughs> with my hands behind my back, enjoying saying hi to the ladies. And all that stuff. That's how I do it. That is our take. Uh, that's how you use our software if you want to blindly check on a stock. And we've talked about maybe in beta versions moving GoPro, forward. Oh, man. It's like a, a being able to hide the stock from you, going incognito and take a look. And again, take take the uh, the hype out of it. Take the minutia of what people are saying and look at the numbers. And it might lead you down a path of like, obviously, we're not investing in, in something like this. Love the company. Love the product. Oh, the product's great. Don't like the, the uh, ticker symbol at the moment. So. Yep. That's our take. Fondle That's thumbs it. up. Join the Patreon. We're giving away another Tesla at Thanksgiving to uh, when we hit 100,000 subscribers to one of our patrons. So, yeah, join it. We'll love you. Thanks for watching. See you next video.